Hi, everyone. This is Dr. Moby Parsons of King and Parsons Orthopedic Center in Portsmouth, New Hampshire. And I'm going to talk to you today about the Jiffy Knee Medial Oblique Subvastus Approach to Total Knee Replacement and give you a five-minute bullet on what this is all about. Jiffy Knee is a trademarked surgical approach to total knee replacement that was developed by Dr. Manish Patel in Virginia. It's a unique medial oblique incision as opposed to a standard midline incision, which we'll go over in a second, and it uses a completely muscle and tendon sparing subvastus approach, which we will also review. This picture shows the standard midline incision, which goes right over the front of the knee, specifically directly over the kneecap, and the medial oblique incision, which you can say see stays off to the inside part of the knee and is oriented more obliquely, keeping it off the midline. So there's a couple advantages of this. First, by not having the incision located directly over the kneecap, it's not on the surface that people kneel on, so there may be less sensitivity with kneeling. Second, a midline incision has to elongate 40% when the knee goes into flexion. And by keeping the incision off the axis of flexion, the incision doesn't have to elongate nearly as much when people flex their knee. And this causes less pain during the early recovery, facilitating earlier recovery of flexion range after a total knee. Next, by keeping the incision located directly over the muscle, there's better vascularity and fewer wound healing problems. And because we're going to lift up that muscle, it keeps the incision closer to the area of the surgical dissection, meaning there's less undermining of the skin and probably less swelling postoperatively as a result of that. A subvastus approach means we're going underneath the quadriceps muscle. So you can see from this picture here, there's three approaches to the knee replacement. The quad cutting approaches include the medial parapatellar approach and the midvastus approach. And in these approaches, the quadriceps tendon is either split down the middle or the, or the vastus medialis or quadriceps muscle has to be cut. With the subvastus approach, we don't have to cut either the muscle or the tendon. We can release the muscle off the soft tissues and mobilize the entire quadriceps mechanism out of the way to expose the knee. This gives us several advantages because it is muscle and tendon sparing. First, it allows more rapid recovery of quadriceps function, which means that people can get off assistive devices faster, get their range of motion back faster, and get back to activities including working out or leisure time activities or work faster than traditional approaches. Secondly, it causes less scar tissue and less potential damage to the quadriceps mechanism. And thirdly, it causes less pain for the same reason, which means we can do opioid sparing surgery, allowing a majority of patients to be discharged home the same day and recover in the comfort of home. Other advantages are that this approach does not compromise the exposure at all. So for me as a surgeon, I can use any implant that I want. I can customize the implant choice for the patient's anatomy or their unique needs. It's time neutral, which means it doesn't take me any longer to do it. It gives me excellent exposure, which means I don't have to make any specific compromises in terms of not being able to see what I need to see to do a perfect job. It's cost neutral, it's covered by insurance, there's no add-on fees associated with this, and it doesn't require any specific retractors or other widgets during surgery that we need to do this approach. For those of us that have been doing knee replacement for 20 years, we've seen a lot of changes along the way, including changes in implant design, other technologies such as robotics and navigation systems. And I can honestly tell you, having explored most of those other things, I think that this is the largest breakthrough in terms of the early recovery from knee replacement of any of these other things that I've seen. I think that the Jiffy Knee approach is absolutely the most game-changing thing that I have adopted in my practice as a knee replacement surgeon. 
So here's one of our patients who's just about two hours after her Jiffy Knee surgery. She's at our surgery center. She's in the recovery room. You can see she's got immediate quadriceps function, being able to extend her knee. She's got excellent range of motion right out of the gate, and she'll be going home shortly and recovering in the comfort of home. So if you're considering a knee replacement surgery, I would strongly urge you to look at the Jiffy Knee approach. As I said, I think that this is probably the most game-changing breakthrough that I've adopted in my practice as far as patients being able to get through this recovery process much easier. If you'd like to learn more about our practice, look at kingandparsons.com or call us at 603-431-5858, or you can email us at avatar at kneehipshow.com. Thanks.